I'm David. I work at the Natural History Museum and Biodiversity Institute here at the University of Kansas, and I'm a paleontologist. Uh, my specialty is field work and lab work. This is my little lab area here. Um, but I, what I want to talk to you today is about a very special animal, Tyrannosaurus rex. We actually have three of them. So here we have a cast of a large upper jaw to an adult, and you can see how massive that thing is. Um, next to it, we have the juvenile that was discovered in 2016. Uh, before I get into that, I want to talk about Barnum Brown. This is Katie's first T-Rex specimen. It's a foot bone. In fact, it's a toe bone. A uh, little bumpy area to the right. That's an injury. Uh, T-Rex uh, was weighed seven tons, walked on two legs, so probably suffered a lot of foot problems during its life. A uh, little hole towards the front is called a ligament pit, and so that's when the other bones attach the muscles so they can wiggle its toes. What's interesting about this piece is that it was found in 1895 while Barnum Brown was a student at KU. And Barnum Brown is known as the discoverer of Tyrannosaurus rex. However, that wouldn't happen until about 10 years later when he found a nice skull in Montana. There's KU's second T-Rex specimen at uh, oh, about 14% complete. It has parts of the skull, including the lower jaw here. Take a closer look at it. It, uh, we believe, is a subadult. It's not quite full grown, yet it's pretty big. Right here is the lower jaw, and you can see it has the teeth in it, and down in one of those sockets is a replacement tooth coming out. There's the rest of the skull. That key shaped space between those bones is where the eye hole would be. Um, we have some very interesting pathologies or sickness in the bones that are telling somewhat of a story. We have the lower leg or tibia that's got this comma-shaped wound on it where something probably scratched and infected the bone. Uh, and then we cut it open to determine the age. And so we get preliminary guess of about 16 years old. Uh, we also found some material on the inside of the bone which were initially thinking that it could be medullary bone. We can uh, see where we've actually cut the fibula as well. And that's how we do. We cut and we count the rings, much like on a tree, to determine the age. We have a nice, well-preserved foot there. Uh, all in all, we have really, really good hind limbs, mostly missing vertebrae and ribs on this specimen. So T-Rex is most commonly known. It was a big creature, right? the largest skull known for any predator, largest teeth known for a predator, largest eyeballs. I mean, the thing weighed seven tons, had tiny little arms, and a 40-foot long body. Right? But we know a lot about adult T-Rex. What we don't know about is young T-Rex. But here to show you today on National Fossil Day is a young T-Rex. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the upper jaw to a juvenile specimen, maybe 11 to 14 years old. This is all real bone. These are all real teeth. They're lying the two sockets. Some of the longer teeth are further along in their life. The shorter ones like this one are actually replacement teeth where the, the functioning tooth was shed sometime during feeding. <clears throat> I want you to notice the difference. The young T-Rex looks nothing like an adult T-Rex. An adult T-Rex is massive. The dimension here is much taller. The teeth are fatter and stockier. These guys could take down a dinosaur by themselves. This guy couldn't. Too small. Didn't have the bite force. That's why the, the jaw is smaller and, and in different dimensions. Uh, so they may have hunted in packs or maybe they chase down prey, prey items that adult T-Rex couldn't catch. And we think that the lower ones were faster runners and therefore had an advantage in that category. Whatever the case, there's probably over 50 adult T-Rex specimens known and only a handful of young T-Rex 
and KU is lucky enough to have one of these. Uh, we got more than this single jaw. We have uh, more parts to the skull, more teeth. We have backbones, ribs, foot, and hip. Um, and we've been going out there every year for the past four years at our excavation site in Montana, where this is from. And KU can place a very important point on the life history of Tyrannosaurus Rex. And we hope to continue in the future. Thank you.